Hey everybody, this is the Vintage Robin's Nest, and I'm here with you this morning. I've got the day off, doctor's orders, and I wanted to go ahead and get started on this rocker. So let me get around the table here. If I start coughing, I'll probably stop the video. Um, went to the doctor's yesterday, yesterday and found that I have upper respiratory infection and so I'm on steroids and for five days so I thought I'd get at least the first coat on the back of this rocker done then I'll probably take a nap while it's dry, but drying and then uh, flip it over and do the front side so I'm just stirring my milk paint I'm using Homestead House, coal black, milk paint. Hopefully I have enough to finish this chair. I'm sure I do. But, uh, so anyway, got to get this done. Uh, Mommy-to-be is due in January. So, I just want to get all this, these projects done for her and her new house. And, uh, then I'll get back to my thrift store finds and my other stuff that I enjoy doing. So, I'm just going to put the first coat on the back side of this rocker. It's got like a red stain on it. And it's like splotchy. So she decided that she would like to have it painted black to go with the rest of her furniture in the house. And hopefully she will use this many and many a nights when that new baby gets here. coat on here I do a lot of watching um, YouTube and I have one favorite person they share all of their secrets and they are really good teachers they teach you everything they know, and uh, I just want to acknowledge them. Without them, I probably would have never got started doing this, and that's Jamie Ray Vintage. You can find them on YouTube. They do five videos a week, I think. Um... And they've been doing it for three or four years. And I don't want to get big like them, but this is just a way for me to have a video library of everything that I do do. And uh, I can go back and look at stuff that I've created and upcycled and my yard work and so I can just see where I started at and how it's turned out. Remodeling of this house that I've got. I've been here five years now. And got a lot more to do to it. just do this side here and then I'll shut the camera off and get to the other side. 
But this, when I'm stressed out, um, this is one thing that I love to do, is to use the milk paint, the uh, chalk paint, and go thrifting, save one item at a time from the trash at the thrift stores. And then I did rent me a booth, downtown Arc City. Um, it's just a shelving unit, it's not very big. But uh, I take my repurposed stuff up there. house look and, uh, and it's like taking old furniture and making them look good again that much to do this because you can get a can well like a can of paint like this is ten dollars and uh, I can do several small pieces from the thrift store with one jar of it but it's really not And that expensive. And I have, uh, like I mentioned, I did rent a booth space in downtown Arc City at the Cali Antique Mall. And I've had it, next month will be a year, and I've only paid. I think eight dollars in a year for my booth um, because I sell enough to cover my rent and have a, ch a check each month so far. So it gives me a little bit of extra income and I get to do what I love doing. And I've got a few pieces of furniture in the house still that I want to get done. I want to do my dining room table, find some matching chairs for it. And, uh, redo it. I want to paint it a uh, white base with a dark top. And I've got end tables and a coffee table and uh, that I'd like to do also. So I might uh, work on that dining room table during Christmas break because I get time off for Christmas break because I work for the school district. seal it with the 
a good uh, coating of poly, 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 poly acrylic just for the bottom and then the rest of it I'll wax it. So I hope you can see what I'm doing here. since four. I'm an early riser. Always have been. I don't work. I still, I don't sleep in. I, my eyes just wake up. So. This is going to look awesome. I recently bought me some rocking chairs for the front porch. Those things ain't cheap when you buy them new. So, this will be... Now this will cost probably a total of, I think, my sister gifted this to my daughter. I think she paid $15 for the rocker. And it will take, oh, maybe $3 in product to paint it. So, and I don't even want to tell you how much I paid for my rockers from Lowell's. Because they was not cheap. And I ended up getting two of them. The boys wanted them, and I had a little bit of extra money, so I went ahead and splurged. I probably shouldn't have, but I did anyway. Had money left over from getting the roof fixed and the uh, water leaks on the inside. So I never buy anything for myself. So I thought, well, now's a perfect opportunity. Okay, so you guys don't want to listen to me jibber-jabber. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and get it painted, the first coat. And I'll be back when I get it finished and ready for the second coat. See you in a bit. Everybody, this is Tammy with the Vintage Robin's Nest. I thought I would hop on here and try and finish this rocker today. Um, my daughter decided that she didn't want it stressed, so I did not uh, end up doing that. She was worried about the uh, red showing through that was on it, and she really didn't want that. So, instead of waxing it, since she's going to be sitting in it a lot with the baby, I decided to put a Men Wax One Coat Polyurethane on it. I don't know if I'll do one coat or two, but uh, I've already started and got some of it done. It's uh, been a week since I did the uh, first coat. I did a second coat. I've been under the weather. Went to the doctors. And they gave me some uh, steroids. And uh, that did not help at all. So after a week of being pretty sick, I finally got a hold of them yesterday. 
and got a prescription for antibiotics. So hopefully that will help. have not felt good all week um, once I got the antibiotics yesterday I went ahead and called my boss last night and told her I was going to stay home today and rest I did get good night's sleep last night I just uh dosed myself up with NyQuil and was able to get really good rest. But I gotta get this rocker finished and get it over to Shania's. So I'm gonna work on this for a little while today. Hopefully, get it all painted or sealed today. And let it dry really good and take it up to her house over the weekend. So that she can get everything in order and where she wants it at before the baby gets here. But it says it's one coat to seal it. I will put one coat on all the parts that she doesn't sit on and or that's, you know, heavy traffic. <coughs> and then I'll probably just go ahead and put a second coat on the seat, the arms and the back. But I just wanted to bring you along while I did a little bit of this. Probably won't bring you through the whole process. And then when I get it done, I will uh, post a video or a picture of it finished at the end of this video and on my Facebook page Vintage Robin's Nest. So, so I already got the underneath of this a couple of days ago. There was just a couple of things I needed to up on the underneath here. So I'm going to go ahead and move up here a little bit. And uh, get these the spindles done. Excited to get back to my thrift hauls. This is the last piece that I'll be doing. For Shania's house. compressor I would just be spraying this but I don't have an air compressor I 
That's going to be one of those things for I asked for it for my birthday or Mother's Day or something. Just a little 10 gallon. I think they run $100. But it's something that I can't afford right now. coated with polyurethane. So what's the weather like where you live? If you live somewhere besides Kansas. That's where I live. I live in Kansas. Let me tell you what. It has changed. We have definitely got into fall. We went from 90 degrees one day to I think the first cold spell that we got it was like 54 was the high for that day. Now we're up to, like yesterday I think was like 70, 74. Today's supposed to be, um, I believe 64 today is the high. And it has just got my allergies crazy. But, and of course with me, I hardly ever get the flu, but I always get the upper respiratory, respiratory infection. And if I don't get it nipped in the bud with antibiotics, it usually will go into bronchitis. And so, I was a little upset when they didn't give me antibiotics last week because I knew that just the steroids wasn't going to work. And then, yesterday... It took me three phone calls to the doctor's office. And then I had to pitch a fit to get them to do the antibiotics. Because I told them, you should have done the antibiotics to begin with. And then I would be better. And I wouldn't be dealing with this crap. And I wouldn't have to be taken off work. To get rest. So yeah, I was not very happy with them. But they said the reason why they didn't give me antibiotics is because they see no sign of infection anywhere my throat was clear my ears were clear so, I guess they had a good reason but I knew from past experience because I get it every year like I said that just steroids was not going to work. But when I get it, it's usually pretty, pretty bad. So anyway, 
Okay, let's get off of that subject. This uh, polyurethane should dry clear. This is something that you could use on tabletops. Anything that's going to have a lot of wear and tear on it. And this brush isn't the best. here because I don't want any drips. So Halloween's coming up. Anybody got any good exciting plans for Halloween or is anybody dressing up? Having Halloween parties? Um, taking your kids trick-or-treating what's your kids gonna be this year for Halloween if you participate in that holiday my kids are all grown my youngest just turned 23 so I don't have to go trick-or-treating anymore I was uh One of them women that started having babies at 17, had two, waited 10 years, had another one, waited another eight years, had another one. So, my kids range from 41 to 23. And I think the last, what, four years? Four or five years I haven't had to trick or treat. And it's been different because I've always had to go trick or treating. So now I just stay home and pass out candy. Holidays are coming up. Thanksgiving, Christmas. Do you guys have big family get together get togethers? Or um, do you go out of town? Let me know in the comments what you do. I'd also like to know, are you a crafter? Do you craft? Do you do a whole whole uh Holiday and DIYs. I always plan on it, but then I never get around to it. I used to decorate for Halloween all the time. I mean, back when my boys was young, we actually had a coffin in our front yard. An old wooden coffin that my the boys' father made. That was pretty fun. Um, we used to uh, make big old spider webs out of yarn from the top of the house to the ground of yarn. That was always fun too.
kids always come down for Thanksgiving and Christmas and I cook a big meal. And I invite my sisters over and their families. So, you gotta start thinking about what the menu is gonna be on those. Okay, well, I think you guys get the idea of what I'm doing. So I'm going to end this video. Um, when it's all done, dry, I will post a pic, picture at the end of this video of how it turned out. So I will catch you guys next week with some of my thrift store hauls. So until then, have a good day and God bless.